Hey, what's up guys? Josh Rossi here. Welcome to another Photoshop Dad video. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on changing the color white to different colors. Now this can come in handy when you are maybe on a product shoot and you shoot everything white and then after the fact, they're like, oh dang it, we want, we want like, we wish we had a yellow couch in there or a yellow object, right? So this can be super useful when you're doing product work, when you're doing catalog work, um, just so you won't have to reshoot everything in a different color. You can actually do this in Photoshop, which is so, so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. All right, so we're gonna work on two images. First, we're gonna work on like a product shot right here. We're gonna turn this white, a uh, little table thing into different colors. And then we're gonna change, we're gonna do this. This Let's say this is like a catalog or fashion shoot and we wanna change the outfit to something different, to a different color. Now the thing is, it's difficult to change white to a different color because it's it's almost like lacking color. You can easily change the color yellow to something else because there's a lot of color information there. With the white, there's like no color information. So what we're gonna do is you first, the main key to this is you have to make a really solid, good cutout of this object. And I would suggest not taking any shortcuts, but just using something like the pen tool, which if you don't know how to use the pen tool, I have um, another video on this, which I can link to. But basically, you're, you hit P on the keyboard, which is gonna take you to pen tool right over here and you click and drag. So for curves, I'm gonna click right there and I'm going to drag and make sure I get everything, you know, make sure my edges are really good. Then I'm gonna hold on option and bring in this little handle and point it in the direction of the next place I'm gonna go. So I mean, that's literally the pen tool right there. So uh, I saved you a bunch of time there. Okay, so I'm gonna go around this and I'll be back with you in just a quick second. So once you're done selecting everything, just right click and go make selection. And I'm gonna feather this at, let's say 0.5, hit okay. And you always wanna make sure to copy up your layer. Okay, so double click to make it a layer and then hold down option or alt and copy it up. This is gonna be your, I'm just gonna call this background layer and this is just layer number one. Um, okay, so what we wanna do on layer number one, we can turn this layer off. Layer number one, we're gonna make a mask right here. So it's going to basically select this out. Now see, we're obviously missing certain pieces. So we want to go back and um, sort of add on to this mask. So what I can do here is go uh, disable layer mask. And we're just going to add on to this mask. So we know that we have this other piece right here, which we're going, we're going to add on to. I'm just adding the this white little table base here. When you're cutting out, you want to be careful to not cut off too much of the edge that you're coloring. You should be slightly going over. See right there, I'm going over onto the carpet. Okay, and then we're just going to make a precise thing there, then go make selection. Once again, 0.5, I can actually enable, enable the layer mask, and then go to your brush, and you're gonna paint in with white because that's that's a black mask so you want to paint it with white to reveal what's underneath. Okay, perfect. So then let's let's do disable layer mask again. Let's see what else we need. I think there's this little piece right up here that we're missing. So I'm just gonna quickly go right here. Cut it out just like that and go enable layer mask again and we're gonna paint with this time black to erase that part. Okay. All right, so now that you have your object cut out, you can turn on your background layer. This is gonna be, I'm actually gonna change the name. This is just gonna be the table layer. And now with the table layer, what you wanna do is start adding in color onto this. So this is pretty simple. We're going to go here and add, let's see, a solid color over the top. And let's say they want a, I don't know, like a yellow table or something. Let's see, we'll mess around with the colors here in just a second, but let, let's just choose a yellow table. Okay, now I'm gonna make this a clipping mask. Bam, just like that. Uh, by the, and I made it a clipping mask by holding down Option or Alt, and that basically means it's only affecting the that bottom layer. Okay, so it obviously looks like crap right now. But very simple, you're gonna go down to a multiply um, blending mode. 
So now it's already looking a lot better, but it still has kind of this haziness to it. We're gonna fix that by doing some uh, contrast here. So we're gonna add a curves adjustment layer. Make sure once again, hold down option or alt to make that a clipping mask. And we're gonna bring up certain pieces right here and bring up the highlights, bring down the shadows, which is nice. Okay, so that's a little bit too saturated. The, the contrast is looking great, but it's looking like a fake color. So basically we can go back to the color and we can desaturate like that, darken it. We can actually pick like an orange color to match just like that. So let's say you want to match the color here. Very simple. Just pick something like that. Just get your little eyedropper and pick like the lightest color and then you can mess around there with the color. So now I assume they probably wouldn't, you know, whoever you're doing this for wouldn't want the exact same color, but you see here, you can literally change the colors all around. Now I would say make it a little bit darker so it's more realistic and a little desaturated um, or it's going to start looking fake. And then you can add more, a little bit more curves. So let's go back in here and let's see. We're just going to add some contrast, just a little bit more. Now, one last thing on this is to make it look even more realistic to get the shadows and highlights to pop. We're going to go in here to color fill and double click. And down here on underlying layer, this is the blend if <coughs> blend if tab. This is basically going to um, select and deselect the color based on like the highlights and the shadows. So you want to separate this little thing up by holding option or alt. You see how it's separating there? So if I pull this up, it's basically selecting, you see, look at the what it's doing here. So it's actually making it more hazy, it's bringing up the highlights. This is bringing in the shadows just a little bit. So I'll actually keep this right over here and then I'll bring this up. Let's see what this one does up here. I'm gonna separate that out. So the same thing with clothing. I, I'm actually gonna go through and make a selection of this and it has to be a really good selection. So once again, I'm going to double click on my layer, copy this up. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did on the other image. Okay, so once you make the selection, you're going to right click and go make selection and feather at 0.5. So the thing about this, um, I would say the most important thing about the, uh, you know, turning a white color to a, a color is the selection. The selection is so dang important. Um, it's it's the thing that's gonna make your object look realistic because if the selection's off, then it's just not gonna look real. And I'll show you here in just a minute. But yeah, same thing, basically make a mask out of that. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add a solid color on top. So let's just say like pink or whatever, we're gonna make that a clipping mask and then turn that to a multiply blend mode. You can see on this, it was easier to do with this table, but it's a lot harder to do with like uh, uh, something that has a lot of wrinkles because you really need to make it look realistic. So we're going to go to curves, make sure it's a clipping mask by holding down option or alt, and we're going to bring up the highlights and bring down those shadows and then also bring down the saturation because that's crazy saturated. Okay. So we've added just a little bit of contrast. Now let's double click over here on the color fill layer. And once again, let's mess around with the blend if. Let's bring this up. And then let's separate it by holding down option. Oops, option right there. And then also this one up here. Let's, let's see what we can do here. So we're adding in some highlights right there, bringing down the shadows. Okay, let's hit OK and see what this looks like. All right, let's add a little bit more contrast. And it's going to look a lot more realistic at this point. So we're adding contrast. And you also got to be aware of the surrounding exposure. You don't want it to be like, you know, super crazy high or like, actually, that, that's, that's actually not too bad. But yeah, always be aware of the surrounding exposure. So I'm going to make this darker just like that. And let's add another curves adjustment layer. And now let's just focus on the highlights. Just like that. So the cool thing about this is you can have all these different variations, like especially if your customer, it's like a clothing brand and they have a bunch of different colors, 
you can get different, you can make different colors just like this. It's so simple as opposed to just like continuing to shoot, you know, different colors over and over and over. Um, but okay, so I said you got to be very careful with the selection because check this out. So this is what happens. To make it look realistic, you're going to have to go around this image with your brush and you're going to have to basically refine this. So it does, it does take a minute, but it's, you know, it's definitely worth it, especially if you can just especially if you do the mask once and then you can just have unlimited amounts of like color changes and whatever you know so i'm going there then i'm switching masks by hitting x on the keyboard and we're just going to paint over this way you know and sometimes you're going to like mess up like that and you just go back hit x sort of feather that over all right and when you're far away like this you're not even going to tell okay so there you go the before before the curves adjustment, that's what it looks like. After the curves adjustment, looks just like that. You can still mess around with it a little bit more. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, check out some of the other videos. Remember to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a master at creating amazing images and how to make six figures as a photographer, you can join our online photography school at fulltimephotographer.com. Or to see a preview of what the course is like, you can sign up for my free one-hour training where I cover my top 10 secrets to creating images that sell. I'll also show you my exact marketing plan that has brought me clients like Adobe, Acura, LG, Nickelodeon, and more. So go to fulltimephotographer.com to check it out or just click the button on the screen.